Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video, I'm really excited to do. I'm also a little bit nervous, but I'm mostly excited, just a tad nervous. Okay, hopefully I have hooked you into this video right now. But basically for today's video, I'm going to be creating my own palette from some single shadows. I'm gonna be building my own palette here. And there is a really fun and special inspiration behind this video, and it's actually also a collab with a few ladies here. So um, last week, my friend Amanda, or Makeup just for fun. She reached out to some of us and um, she said, you know, we we took this really iconic photo last year in New York. Wouldn't it be fun if we could build a palette kind of based on all of us in this photo and we could have different shades corresponding for each of the ladies. I thought that was a, such a fun idea. So I'm going to put the photo up here on the screen so you can see it and see all of my beautiful friends that I'm in this photo with. So there is myself, of course, Amanda or makeup just for fun. There is Jen from Jen Loves Reviews, there's Amy from Amy Loves Makeup, and then Karen Harris, and then my beautiful friend Angelica. We are all in this just lovely, like Amanda said, iconic photo. It's it's a photo that I have myself. I've, um, I've put it on, I have photo calendars that I keep at my desk. It's made it into my photo calendar. It's a photo that I look at often because it brings me so much joy and so much happiness. And I loved Amanda's idea of coming together to kind of build our own palettes here. So I will link all of these other ladies channels down below if you aren't familiar with any of them yet I highly recommend that you check them out. Um, I believe the other girls are gonna be posting their videos today Also, I think the only one that isn't able to do it because we did a really fast turnaround time is Jen um, But I definitely still recommend that you check out Jen's channel I'll talk about each lady more as I go through their different shades that I picked out here, too But wanted to mention that and I'm really excited to do this I say that I'm nervous because I'm nervous for a couple of reasons so I don't usually do like the building my own palettes. I actually don't have a ton of single shadows. I think the other, quite a few of the other ladies in this, you know, little collab video that we're doing, they have a lot more single shadows than me and probably more variety in shades. I have a very small single shadow collection and um, I really love neutrals. So there's a lot of them in here and I'm collaborating with a few women specifically that love color. So I'm like, oh dear. <laughs> So I really tried my best. I have been staring and staring and staring at my singles for the past couple days here, trying to put together the best palette that I could with what I have. I also don't have the most of, like creatively visual mind, so this was like kind of tough for me to put together. I think some of the other girls are doing 24 pan palettes. I'm gonna do a 12. If you are not familiar with me, hi, I'm Samantha. Um, I'm having a bad day because I need a haircut, but we can't get haircuts. So um, there's that. But also I really like smaller palettes. I'm a big fan of like nine pan palettes, 12 pan palettes. Um, that's kind of like my sweet spot. So since there are six of us, I decided to do a 12 pan palette and kind of have two shades for each of us. I hope that makes sense. I just thought that this was so much fun. So even though it's definitely pushing me out of my comfort zone, I was like, yes, I have to do, do this with my friends. I love that photo and I thought it was a really fun idea and something to, to push me a little bit, if you will. So um, I have my 12 shades picked out in here. So I'm gonna go through, show each one, talk about why I picked it for each gal, and then share swatches of everything. But again, I hope that you guys like this video. If you like the style of idea or the building your own palette, or if you just like collabs and group collabs, uh, make sure to give this one a thumbs up. If you're coming from another, uh, another channel, thank you guys so much for checking this one out. I hope that you will subscribe and stick around. I do post to YouTube about four or five at times a week. I love to chat about makeup. I love doing tags. I like to review things. And yeah, I just love makeup and I love talking about it. So, uh, okay, let's go ahead and jump into the palette. All right, so to open up my little magnetic palette, okay, here is what my palette looks like. I will be doing some close ups of the 12 pans and the individual shades and swatches and all of that, but I'm really excited to share with you. So, first up, uh, I was going to do Amanda because she's the one that reached out and kind of put everything together. So, um, Amanda or Makeup Just for Fun, she has been my friend for a while now and she has such an amazing Instagram. She's a wonderful photographer. Her Instagram is full of the most beautiful flat lays. 
the way that she puts products together and color combinations. I mean, she just has such an amazing eye for this kind of thing. I wish I could take my flat lays at like a 10% level of hers because they are just fantastic. I also think it's really cool that she's actually been able to team up with ColourPop a couple of times. So I wanted to include shades that came out in a build your own palette that she actually built and then was for sale on the ColourPop website because I bought it. It was recently after we had met in New York, but wait, was it last year or the year before? I feel like all my times run together but she had done this at build your own palette with ColourPop. I, I had just met her like the month before i was like i definitely have to buy that palette to support it was a 24 pan full of single shadows didn't really like screamy but i was like doesn't matter i'm going to do it anyways so i really wanted to include two shades that were in that palette now amanda also recently was able to do another collaboration with ColourPop, kind of like a favorites bundle and it had the lilac you a lot palette in there which is so much fun um it had a brush that i actually use today to apply some cream products to my face a lipstick a blush and i'm just i'm so proud of her and i think that she does such a good work she's also just such a lovely friend to me she is one we've had multiple zoom chit chats we had a coffee zoom date um, we just had another afternoon zoom date not too long ago while we are in quarantine and it's just so amazing to be able to sit and hang out with someone who you know we can't we can't see each other right now so I have two different shades that I grabbed out from her uh, build your own palette with ColourPop that I still have in my collection so I chose a more of a purpley shade in Prowlin because I also wanted to do something that was kind of towards the lilac you like a nod to her her favorite bundle that she just recently did with ColourPop which had the lilac palette in it so this one is more of like a lilac shade and then also she she does a lot of neutrals you know kind of like me she does a lot of like neutral looks too so this is the shade 20 something um, and that's also I just love the the name of that I think that's so much fun so these are the two that I chose out for her so Prowlin is just a really beautiful like light lilac shade with some shimmer in it and then 20 something is a really cool shade it's like bronzy but it has a little bit almost like a little bit of orange to it it's just a fun shade I feel like I can see her wearing both of these again she chose both of these shades to put in her ColourPop build your own palette so I felt like I just definitely wanted to include two from there so those are my two for Amanda next up I put in Jen's shades or Jen Loves Reviews I was like kind of trying to make this somewhat of a cohesive palette but still have each shade next to the lady of <laughs> the third corresponding shade okay so i was trying to do my best there uh but next up like i said jen jen loves reviews um i have considered jen a friend for a very long time she has such a fantastic youtube channel and she's someone who's been around youtube for such a long time but she has uh videos on her channel that are more kind of like makeup news related and i think that those are so much fun and she's a creator who like isn't afraid to talk about different topics and to really have a discussion she does a live chat every single sunday typically talking about something within the beauty community or the beauty industry and it's like whether it's good bad or ugly she's not afraid to cover it um like she kind of reminds me of like a makeup reporter and i think that's really cool and like something just kind of like unique and different to the space here so i i've been following her for, for a very long time and um i just think that she's great she's also just so supportive um i've been able to meet up with her on certain trips we were able to room together we went to a party down in florida with Ofer cosmetics and we roomed together and, and hung out together um for those couple days that we were there and i think that she's just someone that's very supportive in the community and which i think is fantastic so so excited to, to be sharing my two shades here with jen so again Jen I would say like she'll go outside of the box I don't feel like she's afraid to try out different shades and colors but like I wouldn't say she's necessarily a, a neutral lover but when I think of Jen for some reason I think of like cool tones or taupes or but it's kind of hard to like pinpoint her because again like I said like she's not afraid to try different things and to try different palettes or so, you know so she was almost kind of hard to like what theme I was going to do for her but one shade that I thought would just be kind of fun to include is this one here this is from Makeup Geek and this is in Creme Brulee now a reason that I 
chose this for Jen is because when I think of Makeup Geek and when I think of especially like a shade like Creme Brulee, it makes me think of like old school YouTube, like OG YouTube. And again, that's what I think of when I think of Jen. She's been doing YouTube for so long and just being so consistent and just showing up and always putting out videos. So I really wanted to like give a nod to that. So that is why I decided to go with Creme Brulee. And then this one is just like a really beautiful neutral brown. I've had this shade for a long time when Makeup Geek was like taking over the YouTube space and I was buying my single shadows from Makeup Geek, but I thought that would just be something fun to represent Jen. And then the other shade that I chose out, this is from ColourPop and this is in Snake Eyes. I just think that this is a cool shade. Again, it's a little bit more like a little bit on the taupey side. It is a shimmer, but I just think it's fun and I could totally see Jen rocking something like this. It kind of reminded me a little bit of a shadow that she wore when we were down in Florida for the Ofra party, which again, it was kind of like why I thought to include that in here. Don't ask me why I remember like what makeup Jen wore, but I don't know. I just, we were just getting ready together and just hanging out together and having fun and it was such a good time. So I thought that I would include Snake Eyes for Jen also. So those are the two for Jen Loves Reviews. Next up, I have my two in the palette. Cause again, I just felt like it made sense visual wise looking at it. So again, hi, hi, hey, what up? So my name is Samantha. So again, I'm a fan of neutrals, but I'm also a fan of purples. I have green eyes. So I really love wearing purple shadows cause I feel like it just brings them out or like mauve tones, pink tones. I have mauves on my eyes today. So it was also kind of hard because there's certain shades where I only have a few in each, but I thought they could go to like different girls. So this was, this was truly a, a challenge for your girl here but one that I wanted to include I just think that this is a, such a beautiful shade this is from Makeup Geek and this is Unexpected this is one of their foiled shadows and it's just beautiful it's bronzy but not like I don't it's not like too too brown it's I it's such a a cool shade. I have had this one for a while. I've kept it around through all of my declutters and my single shadow declutters because Grandstand really is a favorite shade of mine. But I also definitely want it to do a purple because it's just something that I wear a lot. So this is another one from Makeup Geek that I chose out for myself and this is in Unexpected. So this is a matte and you just kind of have like more of a cool toned purple. This is one that I feel like I could just like put all over my eyes and a little bit on my lower lashes and like I would be good to go. Um, so that is the one that I chose out for myself too. So those are my two shades, Grandstand and Unexpected. And then moving on, I have the shadows in here that I chose for Karen Harris. If you're not familiar with Karen, please make sure to go check out her channel. She is so sweet and so kind and she was just so much fun to, I already was familiar with her channel before I met her, but just meeting her in person, she's just so sweet, but she's also, I, I feel like maybe Karen could be like our wild card in the group because Karen's like, she's so like, to me, like down to earth. Um, she's a Midwest girl like me, but Karen is like that friend that's like, I'm gonna go on a low buy or a no buy and I'm not gonna buy new makeup unless something comes out that I absolutely must have that I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna buy it because I like makeup and I'm gonna do what I want to do and I'm just like yes girl do your own thing Karen like she she cracks me up I just love her <laughs> I had a tough time picking things out for her because again as we get into these last three it's like they can rock any looks and they are creative and can do anything so for Karen I was like oh my gosh what am I gonna choose for her one shade that I chose out this is just like a fun one and again kind of like wild card so that's what I was going with here this is called Mr. Sandman and this one is from Colourpop so this is a really cool purple but it's almost like it's got just like a, a little bit of the the duochrome to it also so if you can see it has a little bit of that duochrome like almost like a little bit of like purple or blue kind of like a little bit of a wild card I, that's what i was like trying to do for karen so these girls are gonna be watching this like huh you did what you did 
huh? And then I also wanted to choose like kind of like a grungier shade too because I know that she really likes like the Melt Cosmetics and that's kind of what I think of when I think of Melt. So I went with this one from ColourPop and this is in Paper Tiger. So this is kind of that like grungy, like yellow, mustardy type of shade if you will. And I feel like Karen could just rock this because... I mean, she can just pretty much do anything with her eye makeup. I know that she loves greens. Like, I know her, Angelica, and Amy love greens, but I don't have any greens. So, I was just trying to do the the best of that I could here. But, um, we have just kind of this really cool, grungy, yellow-brown shade in a Paper Tiger from ColourPop. Moving over to Angelica, my beautiful, beautiful friend, Angie. Oh, I, I was so excited. I was thrilled and ecstatic to be able to meet her in New York. She is someone who we have talked on online and via messaging and commenting and supporting each other's videos for such a long time that to be able to meet her in person was such a cool thing. I think I first found her through the the Will I Buy It series. She does uh, new makeup releases going on the wishlist or not every Sunday talking about new makeup and that is my favorite series you guys didn't know I just hit 200 episodes on my Will I Buy It series. Um, it's been one that I have done for so many years and so long. I've done it as a weekly series and it's been really fun to find other creators that do their own videos like that but just be able to meet people like like truly that's like how I found her channel and how we started bonding and connecting and I think that's such an amazing thing. Um, we definitely have completely different makeup styles. I know we've done a collab in the past of like picking out shades for each other to do looks with which was so challenging for me don't even get me started on that but we definitely have a very different style and I really don't have any shades in my collection that I feel like would embody Angelica and what she can do her creativity and the way that she puts looks together is just on a different level again if you are not familiar with her please please not please but please go check her out I just think that she is so fantastic it was wonderful meeting her and it was such a moment because I was having a meetup not just me that sounded really weird but me and a few of my other YouTube friends, we were having a meetup in a park in New York and Angelica and Karen came and I just remember looking over and there's Angie just streaking it towards me and just like full, I mean, it just, I want to cry. <laughs> No, I want to cry just thinking about it. But it was just so much fun to to meet someone in person. So, okay, let me show you what I chose out for her. Like I did my best, okay? But the first shade that I chose out is from ColourPop. This is in Glass Bowl. I feel like this is a really cool, really unique shade. So that's why I wanted to pick it for her. Again, we have another duo chrome, and I feel like Angelica was. <laughs> how would I say this? Like one of the first people to kind of make me understand like what exactly a duochrome was. Like she has so many single shadows. Um, like I, I just, I, I can't wait. I hope she is yeah, she is. She's, she's, I think she's already filmed this video by the time I'm filming mine. Um, but I can't wait to see what she comes up with because she has such a cool collection. But like, I don't know, look at that shade. I just thought it was like unique and fun and I was trying to find things that would like signify all of these other girls since I knew like shade wise it was going to be really hard. So I was trying to find like other ways to bring them into this. But Glass Bowl is such a cool shade. Um, this was one that was in Amanda's palette. And like, look, even just holding it up, like how cool was that? I don't know. I was trying to do something really fun and unique for you, okay, girlfriend? I tried. And then another thing, when I think of Angelica, I think of just bright colors. Like, she can do neons and bright shades, and she just again, puts like the coolest looks together. So I went through my single shadow collection and I was trying so hard to find what would be my brightest shade. And um, this is the this is the brightest one that I could come up with. This is a from ColourPop once again, and this is in the shade Making Moves. So not like a super neon or super bright, but again, it was the brightest one that I have in my collection. So this one here at the bottom is Making Moves. So this is just like a brighter kind of like reddish pink, um, kind of like a punch color I would say. I could totally see Angelica wearing this shade. But again, I was trying to go for my brightest one in my collection because 
um, she just does some really really cool makeup looks for sure so again if you are not familiar with Angelica please make sure you go check out her channel and then finally we have Amy from Amy loves makeup oh my gosh this girl is so sweet I am so happy to have met her she traveled by herself down to New York to meet up with some of us and um, she is just so kind and I could have hugged her like a thousand times when I met her um, I can't wait to see where she goes and what she does she's she's very young still and I just think that she has such a bright future ahead of her I can't wait to see where she's gonna go because I, I think it's going to be incredible so um, I'm so excited that Amy is included in this collaboration if you are not familiar with her please make sure you go check her out she is also extremely talented with makeup like I love makeup and I love talking about makeup but man like I can't do my makeup like some of these ladies do in this video let me tell you and Amy is another one who can like she can wear any color um, I know that she loves her greens and her blues which again I don't have but she can just pull off really like anything so I, I, I just she's fantastic and she posts so many videos on YouTube like I hear a lot of people say like wow Samantha you post a lot of videos I'm like no Amy like Amy's killing it okay so I was <laughs> I tried my best, Amy. I just don't have a lot of singles, okay? But I really wanted to do a purple because I think purple looks amazing on Amy and I know that she really likes that color too. So definitely had to do a purple. Um, and the one that I have here is from ColourPop and this one is in Howlin. So this one is more, I don't even know if you can see it really good there, but it's a very like light lavender. Like it looks, um, it looks really fun with the prowlin this one's howlin so this one is like prowlin i like to wear those two together from ColourPop, and i think that they look really fun but i didn't have a lot of like <laughs> like really like darker bright purples so this was this was the best that i could do to represent amy but i also wanted to include a blue and i have one blue in my collection and i saved it for amy <laughs> Um, that's what I did and this is called baseline and this is also from a color pop so it is the final one here this one is like more of like a Cinderella blue but I think that it's beautiful I've kept it around through my declutters even though I've decluttered some of my like darker and deeper blues because I just think it's so pretty this shade in a nail polish also is gorgeous because I've, I've rocked that before so I just thought this was really fun and I wanted to include a blue for Amy so those are the two from for Amy from Amy loves makeup so please make sure you check out all of these women that I have mentioned. And then this is my little 12 pan palette. Oh my gosh. Okay. I did the best that I could with what I have, but I really wanted to do this. I love doing collaborations. I love doing group collabs. I did one last week. Um, I just love being able to shout out people because I think there's so many amazing people in this community. Honestly, if I could do a collab video, like every single time, I, I, like I probably would because I just love doing it. So again, please make sure to check out everyone that I mentioned that is such an iconic photo that we took in New York just so much happiness in one photo it makes me smile every single time I see it or even just thinking about it it just makes me smile and all of these ladies really do mean so much to me I know every single one of them except I think Karen was the only one who couldn't make it but all of the other ladies were going to be attending my launch party with Ofra Cosmetics. So I recently did a collaboration with Ofra and we had such an amazing launch party planned for it and people were gonna be coming from all over to go to this party. Angelica was coming in from Sweden. I mean, I was so excited to see these ladies again and to just hug them and just have some fun with them for a few days and I was obviously super disappointed that we had to cancel it of course I know why and I was the one that made the decision um, to go ahead and postpone the party but one of the reasons it hurt so much was because I knew I wasn't going to be able to see my friends and you know I hope that we can get together again one day soon and not even just to celebrate the launch but just to be able to celebrate getting together <laughs> but of course at least we have technology to keep us together and to keep us chatting and to keep us connected so I'm just really grateful for all of their friendships because all of them have meant so much to me um, during this time during quarantine they were also supportive of my collaboration with Ofra I was so excited to be able to see them at the launch party so I love that we were able to do this I can't wait to see the other ladies in the palace they created I'm sure they're gonna be miles better than mine was so I can't wait to see it but I hope that you enjoy 
enjoyed seeing me put together this little 12 pan palette here um i hope you enjoyed the swatches i mean should i do a look with this palette could i do it how many shades i mean should i do a palette <gasps> should i do a palette bingo with my 12 pan palette i don't know let me know some of your ideas in the comment section i would love to hear them of course and thank you guys i hope that you enjoyed this video it was fun for me to do something a little bit different again make sure to check out all the ladies i will have them linked in my description box other than that though if you did enjoy this one please make sure to give it a thumbs up i hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and i will see you in my next video bye